very broadly for me is divided at that area of can the future mobility be a lot cleaner? Can it be far more convenient? Can it be far more clever? Can it be far more cost effective? And can it be far more connected? When I think clean, I think clean entire life cycle of how you would use it, to how you would make it, to the end of life. When we think of convenience, I think this is the number one area that all customers look for in terms of how you would purchase your cars, so from online purchasing to, on, to ownership that would be virtual. And today, as you look at Google being able to cross a country on a driverless car, the semi-autonomous to autonomous driving systems are going to be a big shift in what Clever comes in. Remote diagnostic capabilities of accessing your car, fixing it remotely without even you knowing it, are going to be things that are today available, even in products that we have. For India especially, or world, it's great to have all of these Cs, but unless it's cost effective, it's not going to make sense. And when I think connected, it's several areas. It's connected between you and your car, and that's why your smartphone. Simple things like turning on your air conditioning to probably giving you an emergency amount of charge, seeing where you need to go. It's connectivity between car and car, bringing in a next level of safety systems in place, which is very critical, especially in markets like India. It's about connectivity between you and the infrastructure by looking at where traffic management would come in and the idea of optimizing a set of products going around and, and looking at connectivity there. We're talking of connectivity between you and the grid, where energy can come into your vehicle. And when you have low, and when the grid is weak, actually cars can power back the grid. We talked about problems that we had in Delhi a couple of years ago when the whole grid came down. Imagine 100,000 cars could probably put 1,000 megawatts of power in and power the grid back. And at 2 in the morning when energy is very inexpensive, as well as in surplus, we charge vehicles back. So it's no more about being independent. It's about connectivity across communication, across energy, and taking this to a completely different level.